Yeah, I was just saying, uh, this world is falling apart, and uh, these guys who are in charge of our economy and everything, they're pulling the plug and everything. It's just a matter of time. They're doing it slowly but surely. They've already uh, started making their moves, right? And um, just be ready, man. Have no fear, right? Um, like I said, man, uh, we're living in a really bad situation because this is Babylon, man. I mean, if you don't... Uh, if you can't understand how your your system is absolutely absolutely Babylonian, right? I mean, I read books and I'm on this shit, man. I'm, I do it day and night, and um, the whole system that we operate on, with the the judges in their black robes and the legalese, and you know, uh, human uh, meaning meaning monster and person meaning a beast and all this kind of bullshit with their legalese language and your. Uh, uh, straw man identity and your birth certificates and you know the, the 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 banking if you understand jordan maxwell how he puts it all together i got about six or eight of his videos up there no problem i mean uh, the whole thing is this this system that i'm talking about here is fear-based and this is where they got everybody living in fear and that's their biggest tool right you don't have, have any idea how much power you got inside yourself, like I was saying in my last video, that each person has billions and billions of cells, and each cell is worth 1.4 volts, and each person is a walking nuclear energy generator, you know what I'm saying? But nukes are fake. Yes, nukes are fake. And so, um, uh, we're powerhouses, and then when you take us and you put us in these stack and pack them 15 minute cities with these high rises, you take a look at circuit board cities and we could be powering a lot more than you could imagine, especially with all the juice going through us. And that's why I kind of have to stick on the esoteric side of things uh, in a big way. And I do it in a Christian mentality because I mean the whole aspect of this is to live in your heart and the message that this comes out of the, the King James Bible. And yet, because look, I'll tell you right now, the Bible was not written in Hebrew. It was written in Arama Aramaic. And I've got the Zen Gar Garcia, who's a biblical scholar, uh, uh, Aramaic and Palestinian Targums there, and that's the Bible. And and this whole King James bullshit, which is basically a code book, that's 66 books. Um, King James was a black man, right? And a Freemason to boot. And I got a feeling that uh, well, there's no feeling. Come on, man. Uh, the Sir Francis Bacon Society had a big role in that, right? And then with all these monks and whatever putting all this stuff together, it's a, it's a, it's a slam dunk, man. Anyway, um, I was saying in the last uh, video that all of these religions were created by the One Source, and the One Source is a very satanic organization. And uh, basically that's when... Um, you know, I dig with Jesus when Satan said to Jesus, he took him to the top of the mountain and he showed him all his kingdoms on this flat realm and he said, hey dude, all you got to do is bow down to me and it's all yours. And Jesus said, no man, I didn't uh, come down here to uh, hang with you. I just came down here. My kingdom is, is outside of this place, right? It says in the Bible that Jesus knew me before he even entered my mother's womb. Not to get all stressed out down here. You can't own nothing, right? Anyway, the whole thing is uh, um, Jesus came down here to show you how to get the hell out of here. And one of the biggest things it says 365 times in the Bible is to fear nothing. Because that's where this joint runs on. It's all about fear and, and ang anxiety and pain and misery. and That's why I say this place is hell. Because after being in a coma, after having a... Um, been dead a couple of times more or less. I've had my last rites written to me twice. Um, I met this creepy Satan weird fucking thing in a drug overdose one time. I was in a coma for almost two months. Uh, I spent five months in the hospital on that gig. I broke both my thighs, my shin and my pelvis. My left hip is in my right femur. Um, I got two bone grafts from my back where they took bone off my pelvis and put it in my left leg and my right femur. I got uh, 
uh, bones, like I got a wound on my shin, right to the bone where it's basically like a knocking on wood. Um, I'm telling you, when I was in a coma, I didn't feel no pain, I didn't have any anxiety, I didn't have anything fucking really bothering me, right? I didn't have my ears ringing like a, a I, I got the tinnitus thing for the last 30 years, big time, like I got the, the high-pitched squeals going on, which I know it's got to do with the cell phone technology, because I can hear the frequencies changing in both my ears, because I've had a head injury, where basically I got about 60% of the hearing in my left ear, and uh, uh, I got 100% in my right ear, but the frequencies are changing because there's a difference in my, like all your sternum and your uh, uh, hammer in your ear. Anyway, it's a big thing, but I've had some fucking hard goes, and that's what I'm saying. I've been to hell, man, I'm telling you. My whole life has been chewing on fucking nails, right? Every, I mean, it hasn't been easy. I've had some really goody, amazingly good times, whatever for every time I went up to the top of the mountain, I came up and crashing down the bottom of the valley hard, right? And that's where, like, for every high, there's that equal low. So I try and keep myself uh, pretty chill and going easy. And I don't... I sleep like a baby at night, I don't take no medications, I don't drink no booze, I smoke my weed, my cigarettes, don't drink no city poo water, man, I'm telling you, this stuff's poison, the fluoride and all the shit that's going in there now, I'm looking at a video today where they're actually liquefying human beings and pouring it into the city water system, they're going to talk about soil and green, crazy world, man, I'm telling you. And this is where it gets into these people that drive me crazy. I'm about to give up Facebook soon. The only thing, the reason I, I, I had, got it was so I could just communicate with my kids, right? And because uh, I don't have a cell phone, so I mean, this is where it got uh, weird. Anyway, but I've had it for uh, 12 years, but I had, had a cell phone for a while back there, but they killed my original uh, account um, three years ago. And then uh, I had this other one, uh, Timmy, and then I got another one, Tommy, on Fedbook. <coughs> and um, I don't know, I just put out all kinds of memes and stuff and try and talk truth. But when people start getting stupid with me, I just got no time for the stupidness. You know, trying to teach me about Christianity. Fuck, give me a break. I've been studying that shit for decades and decades, and I was raised a Roman crapolic. Right? You know, this is where you gotta understand. The Roman Catholics are worse than, than those those Jews. You know, the Jesuits have been kicked out of 113 countries in the last thousand years, so they say. And the Jews, 109, so they say. And you know what that's all about? Uh, human blood sacrifice, because these bubbers eat kids. And it's almost like a vampiric kind of a weird thing that gets into this book I showed earlier. Skull and bones, right? These bu the buggers, they eat people, man. And this is what kind of a creepy world we live in. And, uh, you know, all these children and stuff that go missing every year. And uh, the weird pedophilia and creepiness and all these. Look at, man, I'm telling you right now. We're living in Babylon. When you got clown shows putting on, uh, you know, training clown shows putting on, uh, you know, story time book reading at libraries and stuff like that, and kids' parents are actually brainwashed enough to bring these kids into these programs, we're in trouble, man. You want to talk about Babylon? Well, that's not a joke, man. We're living in Babylon, right? As in the days of Noah, so it should be in the days the Son of Man's return, right? They were doing all that kind of weird shit back then, man. Living all kinds of like weird, funky. Listen, if you got a penis, you're a dude. If you got a vagina, you're a girl, all right? I'm not going to start playing nature with you, right? Come on now. And if you don't believe in God or you're an atheist, that's a mental illness. Same with homosexuality. Right? You don't know, go ahead. You can actually check in the uh, American Medical, whatever the hell it is. They confirm all this stuff is a mental illness. 
But how can I say it's not a mental illness? We're living in hell. I live in an open air insane asylum. I walk out my door, retards in cars wearing masks and they're alone. Right? Three years into this this bullshit game. I can't believe it. I go down my street, I see people coming towards me, they're wearing masks. Anyway. Okay guys. Hang in there, keep your stick on the ice, man. Like I said, have no fear, you're not from here. Even, uh, this isn't the Bible, man, you know, like, Jesus knew you before you entered your mother's womb, before you entered the, the game, right? So, uh, don't, don't get stressed out, right? You can't. The place is crazy. It's a, it's an open air nut house, right? And, uh, you can keep chasing after your fake money and your fake dreams and stuff like that. Do what you can to survive. Use your money prudently, right? But I mean, uh, don't be uh, living in the dream. Like I said, 85% of the world out there are, are completely lost. Okay, man? Subhuman, right? Freedom from the human condition, right? Because this one here, it just tells you about how your uh, chronicle of man's imprisonment, right? You ain't free, right? The only way to be free is in here and in your heart, right? But it's more your heart than your head because you want to live in your heart, not your head. Okay, guys, God bless you. Catch up soon. Peace and love. Ciao.